Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a comparison between my Chanel Square Mini and my Chanel Wallet on Chain, as well as seeing what fits inside both of these bags. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and let's just get started. Let's first talk about the size of each of these bags. The Chanel Wallet on Chain is technically a small leather good, while the Chanel Mini is an actual bag. As you guys can see, the Wallet on Chain is a little bit wider than the Mini, but their heights are about the same and the biggest difference is the width. The mini is definitely a lot wider than the Chanel Wallet on Chain even when it's been stretched out. Another difference between the two bags are the chain length and the chain size. So if you guys can see this, the chain on the square mini is a lot thicker than the one on the Wallet on Chain. So if I'm holding both bags by the top, this is how much longer the wallet on chain is to the square mini. So for the wallet on chain, anybody could wear it crossbody. For the square mini, only maybe more petite people could wear it crossbody. The other difference between these two bags is that the wallet on chain has a snap closure. So you just pop it open like that, while the Chanel Square Mini has that classic CC turn lock opening. The Square Mini also has a back pocket, but for this style of the Wallet on Chain, which is the boy style, it doesn't have that back pocket. But for some of the other styles of Wallet on Chains, like the reissue or the classic ones, they do have that back pocket. Now the two that I have here are both lambskin. This one I believe was called a dark pink, while this one was a turquoise. I'm going to be showing you guys what can fit into my square mini first, and then we'll see how many of those things can also fit in the wallet on chain. So when you open up the square mini, there's a big open space, as well as a little zipper pocket in the back, and a little flat pocket over here. I don't really use any of these, but for the back pocket, it would be perfect if you didn't want to carry a wallet or a card holder and just put your cards in here or some cash or some receipts, any flat things like that. Okay, the first thing that I always put in my bag is my phone. Now this is just the iPhone 6 with a case on. The second thing that I'll put in there is this card holder. My usual wallet is this one from Kate Spade. I think this is called the Stacy style, but this won't fit into the square mini, so I have to take out my cards and put it into a smaller card holder. This one is just the most basic one, and it's very flat, so it can go into your bags really easily, and it's really convenient. And that just slips right in here. And of course, I'll always bring my keys around. The next thing that I'm going to put in my bag is this compact. This is just a simple one from Forever 21. And I love this one because it has little French bulldogs on it. And this just slips right in here. The next thing that I'm going to put in is my trusty Burt's Bees lip balm. If you wanted to, you could also put in another lipstick. And I'll also usually put in my earphones. And the last thing that I would usually carry with me is this eyeliner. It's the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. It's really small and handy, and it fits right in here. This is what I will usually carry with me. There's still quite a bit of space in there. If you wanted to, you could also fit in a pair of sunglasses. And they fit in really nicely. I could close it no problem. It's not very bulky. I got in all of my essentials. You could maybe even fit a little bit more makeup in there. So I think this is a great little handy bag. Now let's see how many of the things that I put in the square mini will fit into the wallet on chain. So for the wallet on chain, there's a little pocket here on the outside, as well as a zip pocket over here, and another little flap on the inside, as well as the six card holders. 
As always, I will start off with my phone and I'll just put that in the main compartment. So I have this card holder, but usually when I use the wallet on chain, I'll put the cards in one of these six slots. I found that that saves a lot of space. The next thing I have is my compact. Here are my keys. My keys will go at the side of the bag. Like that. I have my Burt's Bees lip balm. Just put that in the middle. Also have this second lipstick. Put right here. Have my eyeliner pencil that I'll just stick in the center, as well as earphones that fits nicely. That's actually all that I usually put in my square mini that all fits in this wallet on a chain. It's a little bit bulkier than how I would normally pack my wallet on a chain. Usually I wouldn't put too much stuff in the wallet on chain just because I don't want the leather to stretch. For the most part, this held just as much stuff as the Chanel Square Mini did. In the US, I believe the wallet on chain is $2,100 and the Chanel Mini is $2,900, but they do hold about the same amount, so that might be something to consider if you're looking to buy one of these bags. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Feel free to ask me any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.